Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's draw some teapots and this will be a very important fundamental uh, lesson in drawing. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, so let's draw some teapots and this one is fairly simple. Well, actually all, all of them are gonna be relatively simple. Um, so with this kind of shape, what you can do is, I know it's like a dome, but you can actually start out like a circle, even simplify even more, you know, like let's, let's go with the really basic stuff. So if you have a circle, and just kind of drape over the sides a little bit. Just kind of drape it down and you get a nice little uh, dome shape, right? And then you can, let's see, you'll probably go down f a little bit further. And then for this space here, it's really important to draw this full thing. You know, just draw the back, you know, draw the whole elliptical because you need to get this nice curvature here. Okay, so just kind of go over it. It's okay, you know, drawing the back, it's fine. All right, so let's move on. And actually this will give you, kind of give you a um, very nice perspective, you know, so that you know how far you're kind of tilting up. Because as, okay, so we, we've, if we're gonna draw the lid, we we'll do another elliptical like this. So you can kind of compare it, right? It's just kind of the same angle, like the same perspective. So that's why you want to draw, you know, the things in the back too. And then here's a little, little nub, I guess, for the lid, right? So let's see here, here's the, how would you call this, uh, the spout, is it, is it what do you call this? The part where the tea comes up. All right, whatever it is called, I think it's called a spout. All right, so it's kind of like a, a you notice I'm drawing this, right? Cause this is kind of where it attaches. So again, it's, it's more this kind of um, cylindrical shape. And then here is the tip here, the, the mouth. I'm sorry if I'm calling all of these r parts wrong, but then you know what I mean. Uh, and I know it, it might not look exactly like the reference, but again, um, you know, it's just a teapot. So what I really want to go over is just how you can draw these kind of simple things because it's actually really, really important. All right, so here's the handle. Okay, gets get a nice curvature. So that's about it, right? I mean, if you look at how simple it is, it's just really a bunch, circle, have it draped down, and then just start doing these kind of um, cylindrical shapes right here where it meets, connects to the, to the mouth, to the spout. All right, and then, eh, I don't know, should we even shade it? All right, let's just shade it. So right now I'm just kind of looking at this. Here's the lid. And this gotta be rough because I just kind of want to, you know, in terms of shading, you can spend more time with it if you want. But, you know, th these are kind of sketches kind of, and I know it sounds kind of boring, but it's actually really boring because it's, it's teaching you to see things in a simplified form and that really goes a long way in drawing. Okay, so here, so let's see, well, let's do this one first. Kind of like to start on the left side. All right, so this is just kind of like a cylinder, so the bottom is, is darker. Here's the lip, and then the inside's darker here, right? So I'm just gonna do that. So you see how I'm just kind of simplifying things, okay? So I'm not gonna go into too much detail. because I'm not gonna go into too much detail. So, all right, here, here. Here's a little bit darker here, there's a little lip. Here's a little highlight right here. So we can actually just kinda outline that and so that we don't go over it. Here is the little lip on the bottom. I probably made it a little bit too dark, but okay. So now I'm cross hatching a little bit so I can get rid of some of the motion that I created with the initial hatch lines. Okay, so if I cross hatch like this, it kind of puts everything in place. It kind of steadies it a little bit, right? So that it's not flying off the page. 
And I talk about that a lot in terms of cross hatching. You guys should definitely check that out for shading. This is darker here. It's highlight here. I know I'm getting a little bit sloppy here because I kind of want to move on to the next one. Okay, shading here, the upper part is dark and then inside here is dark, right? Because it's curving around, the light's coming this side. There's a little highlight here. So I'm just gonna make this a little darker here. A little bit of shading in here. And again, these are things where, you know, it's like if, if you look at it, you know, there's so much thing, there's so much areas to shade. It's just like, how much, how much do you want to do, right? All right, so I think I'll stop in this. You get the idea, right? So you see how those lines, the initial lines that I drew in is almost gone, right? And so it's like, that's why it's okay to, you know, draw things, um, you know, guidelines, things behind, it's okay. Because those eventually get covered up and if it doesn't, like right here, you know, just take a eraser and just dab it out and it's gone, so. All right, so let's do another teapot. And this one is a little bit more modern. And this one's is, it's basically kind of like a lampshade shape, right? If you look at it that way. So here's the, the top, here's the bottom, right? And then we can actually just kind of connect that. That'll give us the nice body of this thing. And then let's go to the, well, we have the lid already. The lid is just kind of like in a little bit. It's kind of lower. So it cuts in like this. And here's the handle. Now there's a lot of detail on the handle, so I'm just gonna sketch in the overall shape first. It's basically like a, well, it's like a square tube, okay? So I'm just gonna do that first. And again, I'm not going for accuracy here, but we'll, we'll leave these little details out. And now here's the, oh, I guess the, I'm just gonna call it a spout. <laughs> All right, so it cuts into here and I'm trying to find, you know, the, the places where it's cutting up. So it looks like almost like a triangular shape. So this is like a one, two, three, that's like a triangle, right? And then it comes out. So this is kind of like a very basic perspective thing going. It's almost just, it's like a little pyramid shape. All right, so you connect this point here, this point here, and this point here, that'll give you that triangle. And then I know there's some curvature in here, right? So it's a little bit more complicated. It's a rounded, it's not a squarish. But I started out with a squarish, a squarish shape because, you know, we can always come in and round it up. So let's see, all right, this detail here, let's, let's, here's a little lip here, comes up. Here's a little metal piece that comes out, comes up, and then here's a little, whatever you call it, a little hinge thing going on, all right? Okay, and then let's see, that's about it, right? You see how simple these, these shapes are. So you put them all together and it just, it turns into something. <laughs> all right, so let's shade it. Uh, again, quick shading. Um, dark. Oh, I am using a 4B. This is a 4B um, lead. It's a mechanical uh, lead holder. That way I don't have to sharpen my pencils. All right. So here's dark. I'm just looking at the dark shapes. Here is another dark area here. This is important here because uh, it'll give this thing a nice shine to it. All right. So I'm just hitting the dark areas right now. This is dark. Gets a little bit lighter at the lip. And then this is darker. I know this is red. If you if you turn this into black and white, it'll actually be very dark. My part won't shade it that dark. All right, there's a little highlight here, right? This lip here is dark here, it comes down. And then this part right here is, um, if you look at it carefully, you know, there's this part here is dark and then this is darker and then this is slightly dark, right? So here's one. Let's see, and then this one is kind of darker. Oh, let's see, there's some highlight here, All right? Let's, oh, I can just do that. So this is one, two, so this is darker now. 
this is slightly darker as well and this is probably even darker just so I can give it a little bit more contrast from this to this because it looks like there is some there is a distinction there okay so you see very simple this is probably a little bit darker Okay, let's shade this a little bit more. All right, and then here, uh, let's see. There's a lot of reflection going on here, so I'm just gonna go dark. Right here, this is reflecting the handle, and then it comes lighter right here, right? And then this part is dark. So it's just recognizing, you know, the how the light is working and how the surface, you know, how the light is playing on the surface. Once you recognize that, then you can go in and shade it. Okay, and then this is darker on the bottom. The bottom lip is darker, and then this is probably a little bit darker here too. So I'm kind of seeing things in patches. All right, and then let's see, this part here is dark. Because it's mostly in shadow. There's a little bit of shading here for this metal here. Very simplified shading. So it's kind of like uh, just blocking in, right? You can go in and shade it more if you like, but... Okay, and then here's a little bit darker here, a little bit more shading here. Okay, so I think that's it for this one. I know, I know it's really rough, but... You know, I, I, might, I might finish out Kind of, kind of um, add a little bit more shading to this, but overall, I think I kind of show you how to draw this simple teapot. All right, let's do this last one here, and this one's a little bit more complicated. Um, the shading is, and it's more complicated, but also the you know there's a lot, a lot of kind of little things going on here too. So all right, let's just do the body. So it's kind of like. Um, Kind of like an egg shape almost, right? So if I do that, and then here is the lid. Again, very um, simplified. And then here's the spout. It's kind of like a, you know, just a little tube. Okay, with a little bulge on the bottom here. And then here, um, there's a little bit of, uh, Kind of like a lip thing on the bottom right here. All right, going back up. Uh, let's see, there's a little hinge here, two little hinge. So again, very simple shapes, right? I'm just kind of simplifying like that, just so I can get the placement. Okay, now I can go in and kind of smooth things out. So that makes it look like it's one piece. And then here's the handle. Uh, the handle you can do I'm just gonna make it a little bit lower just so like everything fits in the frame. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, and then just give it some volume. So you can start out as a wire, right? Just start out like a little wire around it and just give it some volume. And again, accuracy is not what I'm aiming for here. I'm just trying to get the elements in. Just kind of want to show you the drawing process. All right, so let's let's add in some detail now. Now that we got everything roughed in, all right. So let's go back to the lid here. Kind of sinks in a little bit, and then here's the little handle. All right. So again, circle. All right. So here, let's clean up this line a little bit, so I can see this little lip on the bottom. And then there's a little opening here. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay, I'm gonna smooth things out so I can see the shapes a little bit better. This is connected here, rounds off. Connects right here. This connects here. Let's clean up this line here.
So again, I'm drawing over it. You see how I'm, I'm going right over this little area right here? Because, you know, it's just a lot easier that way. Okay, I think, uh, all right, the handle's fairly simple here. Let's keep going. I don't want to spend too much time doing all this little detail. Because I want to kind of get into the shade. It might be a little bit fun. So this is really dark. Um, yeah, let's try to actually shade it. Maybe not at start, but there's a lot of reflective elements, you know, because of the surface. So let's just keep, let's just uh, shade it. So I'm going to see certain areas. I'm just going to go in. And there's a lot of contrast, so this might be kind of fun. Just kind of hit it really hard. You know, so like I see this is dark here. Here, dark, dark. So, if you're able to read this correctly, um, even though it's really rough like this, it's, as long as you get the values correct, um, you know, even though it's blocky shading, it actually still comes alive. And that's, that's the cool part about this kind of shading, these highly reflective surfaces. Okay, so this is dark, dark, dark. Just trying to save the highlights as much as I can. All right, so here is dark here, 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 shading here. Here, okay, here's the handle, the little wire. Okay. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of time or just kind of want to do something rough, kind of what I'm doing here, this is a really good way to shade. So here, uh, let's see, there's a little highlight here. So I'm just gonna outline it. And then this is dark. Okay, I, I know there's a couple of variations there, but I just kind of want to hit that area first. This is dark. And then we'll come back in here. Let's make this a little bit darker. Let's follow that a little bit more. So I get a nice reflection here. So you can start feeling the, the roundness of this, right? So this is a reflective light down here. That's why it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so I think this part is coming along. So right here is a little bit lighter. Uh, right here. Darker here. Reflecting the environment again. Okay, so here is another big area. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip the little details in, in this thing. I know there's some design to it. But let's not do that. Because um, it's just a little bit too time consuming. So this part is dark. Yeah, trying to save some highlight here. Let's see, dark here. There's a little bit of stuff going on. Okay. And then this part right here is extremely dark. Looks like this part is darkish. And it's important to get that kind of darkness in there too, right? So that give, you can feel the roundness of the shape. All right, so this part here is darker, darker. Okay, this whole bottom part is kind of dark, right? So I'm just gonna give it one light shade first. Some details here, and then here is, there's a little bit of line here. It looks like this, like, you know, it's kind of reflecting most likely the table where it's being seated. Okay, so here is the bottom. So this part is darker because it's not getting much light. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I know there's some more complications back there, but let's move on to this handle here. I mean, this little hinge, dark, line coming up, dark, dark. This is slightly darker. There's a little hole here. All right. There. 
Yeah, so this is kind of fun, you know. All right, the handle is pretty boring. Because <laughs> there's all this. So you can do, uh, let's just do this. Let's see if I can just kind of do a shortcut. I'm just kind of just shading this because it's, it's mainly black, right? So these are ways, you know, that you can simplify things and just kind of make it a little bit easier on yourself. All right, give a little bit more depth. I mean, a little bit more volume to it. All right, so it, it, it kind of fits, right? Cause, because everything is very simple anyways. It'll be odd if I end up drawing this thing with too much detail. All right, so if we look at it afar, I mean, it still looks good. You know, the shading, you can still feel the shape. So that's the boring part. All right, so that's all my teapots and uh, hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. You know, it's a little bit more simple, but it's actually very instructional and, you know, really good for beginners. So hope you guys enjoy this. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and make sure you check out my other beginning videos as well. And I will see you next time.